thanks for joining me for today's practice. Today is really focused on the outside of the leg, so really thinking about this ITB band that runs down the sides of the thighs and connects down just below the knee. And so really good for anyone if you've got sore hips, but particularly if you're a runner or cyclist, you might find that that gets really quite tight as well. So we'll make a start straight away. If you do have a, a strap, please have it nearby. If you don't, just have a scarf or a tie or something like that that you can use, okay? So let's come into child's pose to begin with. We'll bring the big toes together, knees a bit wider than the torso, so you sit the hips back and then start to walk the hands forward. Palms, the hands pressing down. If your forehead reaches down, just allow the forehead to rest down onto the mat. Start to grow out through both sides of the body. And start to take a few deeper, longer breaths. Just one more breath here in the center. And then start to walk the hands over to the right hand side. So that right hand might come off the mat and stacking the left hand on top of the right if you can, reaching that left sitting bone back towards the heels. And then walking the hands around to the other side. That left hand coming off, maybe the right hand stacking on top of the left, reaching that right sitting bone down. Just feeling this into that right side body, to that right outer shoulder armpit area. And then coming back to centre, reaching those arms forward one more time. And then coming up into your tabletop position. You're setting up the wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And then take the right leg out to the side, right heel in line with that left knee. Right foot is parallel, so toes pointing forward. Tuck the left toes under. And then start to shift the hips back towards that left heel. You're not going to sit all the way back, but and then start to walk the hands forward. So think about your down facing dog torso. You're really actively pressing down through the outside of this right foot to try to target that outer right leg. Find the breath. One more full breath here. Armpits wrapping in to face one another. Reach the hips back. And then coming back up into your tabletop position. Bring the wrist back underneath the shoulders. Leg, that right leg stays out to the side. Just release the top of the left foot down. And then peel open that right arm up towards the ceiling. Lifting up, take an inhale. And then exhale, softening through that left elbow to try and thread that right arm under. And then take another inhale, reach the right arm up. And then exhale, soften the left elbow, threading under. And again, inhaling and exhaling. And one more time to reach up, inhale. This time as you come back down, we'll place that right forearm down, right elbow underneath the shoulder. So don't go too far across here. And then start to take the left hand slightly over to the left side. So you can turn the shoulders to the left if it's available. Release that left hand, wrap it behind the back, reaching for the inside of that right thigh, peeling open that left shoulder towards the ceiling. And gently release that left hand back down, coming back up onto both hands. Bring that right leg back in. Sit the hips back down towards uh, the heels, just for a breath here, relax the head. And then coming back into your tabletop position, taking that left leg out to the side now, left heel in line with that right knee, tuck the right toes under, and then start to shift the hips back towards that right heel and extend the hands forward at the same time, palms the hands down, down facing dog torso, so long through both sides of the waist. Pressing down through the outside edge of that left foot, Gentle engagement with that navel in towards the spine. Armpits wrapping to face one another. 
And then let's come back up, wrists underneath the shoulders. Left foot stays out to the side, release the top of that right foot down. Taking that left arm up towards the ceiling, inhale, and then exhale. Starting to thread under, and then inhale. Reach the left arm up, and then exhaling. So thread under, and again, inhaling, and exhale. One more time to reach up, inhaling, and then exhale. This time, let's place that left forearm down parallel with the top edge of the mat, left elbow underneath the shoulder, and then take the right hand over off the mat a little bit, starting to turn the shoulders over towards, towards the right, and then you might be able to release that right arm and wrap it behind the back, reaching for the inside of that left thigh. Think about peeling that right shoulder open towards the ceiling. Keep breathing. And let's gently release that right hand back down. Come back up onto both hands. Bring that left leg in. Sit back into your child's pose. Extending those arms forward. And then come back into your tabletop position. And then coming down onto the forearms, interlacing through the fingers, elbows, shoulder distance apart. Knees together, feet together. We're just going to come up into our dolphin. Just a little bit of strengthening work here. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips up, crown the head is off the mat. Engage the quadriceps. Pressing down through the outside edges of the arms. Those lower ribs drawing in towards the spine. Three more full breaths. And then coming down to the knees for a moment. Come back onto the hands. Separate the feet so the hip distance apart. Keep the toes tucked under and coming into your down facing dog. Just taking a moment in stillness. Thinking about pressing down through the outside edges of the foot. And then at the same time, a little bit of drawing inwards with the inner thighs towards one another. They're not going to move. But that action of pressing down through the outsides of the feet, drawing in through the inner thighs, starts to open up that out, outer leg, outer hip area. And then lifting up onto the balls of the feet, inhale. Exhale, take both heels over to the right. Pressing down through the outside of the left foot, inside of the right foot. One full breath here. And then inhale back through center, going over to the left. Pressing down through the outside of the right, inside of the left. Pressing into that right hand, drawing that right hip away from the right hand. Come back through center. One more time over to the right. One full breath. And center to the left. And back to center. Rise back up onto the balls of the feet. Take that right leg up to your three legged dog. Inhale. And then coming into your half pigeon, right knee to the right wrist, slightly to the outside if you can. Left toes, keep them tucked under for a moment. Try to walk that left foot back if you can. Release the top of the left foot down. Now we're not gonna hold this for too long because we haven't warmed up for too long. So you can walk your hands a little bit close to the hips if you can. Press down through the outer edge of that right shin. Lift the sternum up. Just taking one more full breath here. Stay for the exhale. And then let's place the hands back. So the shoulder distance apart, make your way back to down facing dog. Just taking one breath in your down dog. Rise up into the balls of the feet. Take that left leg up, inhale, half pigeon on the other side. 
So bringing that left knee to the outside of that left wrist, walking this right foot a little bit further back if you can, top of the right foot down. You might be able to take your hands a little bit over to the sides, closer in towards the hips. Pressing down through the outer edge of that left shin, lift the sternum up. Trying to keep that right leg parallel. There's the outer right hip ro rolling down. Taking one more big inhale. Stay for the exhale. And then returning the hands back into your down facing dog position. Tuck the back toes under, lift the knee off and step back into your down dog. One breath. Looking forward towards the hands, bringing one knee forward and then the other knee forward, sitting over to one side, taking the legs out long in front of you. We're gonna lie down onto the back. This is where you'll need your strap. Just lying down onto your back, bending the knees up, grabbing your strap if you've got one. If you don't, just hold onto the leg where you can. Place the strap beneath the ball of the right foot. And even if you have the flexibility to bring the leg in closer, just for now, start with that right heel above that right sitting bone. If possible, you might be to extend that left leg away long, flexing both feet. Think about reaching that right heel up, grounding down through the back of that right side of the sacrum. So right part of the pelvis grounding down as that right heel reaches up. Take an inhale. As you exhale, maybe you're starting to allow that right leg to come a little bit closer towards you. Thinking about this outer right hip lengthening away from that right shoulder. We tend to lift that hip up to bring the leg in. Shoulders relaxing down. Just noticing with each exhale, there's a little bit more space to bring the leg in. Keeping the legs really parallel as much as you can. One last breath, inhale, stay for the exhale, maybe bring it in a little bit closer. And then let's release the legs slightly. And we're gonna go for our um, twisted variation of this Supta Paragustasana pose and take that right arm out to the side. Start to take this right leg across the midline of the body, just only a couple of feet, so not too far yet. Your shoulders are still pointing up, the left foot is still parallel. You're taking it across the midline, but then you try to resist by drawing that right sitting bone back down, or that right hip back down towards the mat. So you really start to intensify that sensation on that outer right leg and glute area. Anchor that right shoulder blade down. Let's take one more inhale. As you exhale, reach that right hip back down. And now take another inhale. As you exhale, we'll go into that twisted variation. So you're allowing that right leg to go across the body. You can let that left leg roll over towards the left as well. Maybe that right leg comes all the way down. And you're trying to anchor that right shoulder blade down. Deep breaths if you can. Right foot stays flexed. And then inhale, coming back up through center and it's releasing that right leg down and we'll swap it around. Make sure the hips reset back to the middle and then let's place the strap along uh, beneath the ball of the left foot, reaching that left heel up and we're starting with that left heel directly above the sitting bone as much as we can. Option here to extend that right leg long, flexing both feet, shoulder heads dropping down Starting with that action of reaching the left heel up as we press down through the back of the left side of the sacrum. Allow the lower belly to fall back in towards the spine. And then now take an inhale. As you exhale, maybe start to bring that leg in a little bit closer towards you. Try to prioritize keeping the legs straight if you can. So if you're needing to bend, then you just back off a little bit more. Outer left hip away from that left shoulder. Taking one more inhale here as you exhale, bringing the leg in maybe a little bit closer and then releasing slightly. So we're gonna go for that twist 
starting with the focus on the ITB. So extend that left arm out to the side, palm can be facing down, take an inhale. Exhale, taking that left leg across the midline of the body. So it's only just coming across the body and then right leg is staying parallel and foot flex. You reach that left hip back down as you extend out through that left heel. So it's almost like the leg's trying to go, but you're anchoring back down through that left hip. Keep the breath open. Taking one more full breath, inhale. As you exhale, reach that left hip back down and then let's go for that twist. So you're letting that left leg go across the body. You can let that right leg roll over to the right as well. Try to anchor that left shoulder blade down, keeping that left foot flexed. Noticing if there's any way you can soften, particularly on that exhale. And then let's take an inhale, coming all the way back up and then releasing left leg down, popping the strap off to the side. Open the feet out as wide as the mat. Let the knees drop in together, arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up. Feeling free to close down the eyes. And then let's extend the legs all the way long, coming into your Shavasana. Just letting the feet fall away from one another. Allowing the face to be soft, the shoulders soft, soft belly. Whole body. Letting go. Please feel free to stay resting here for as long as you need to. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Namaste.